Hello! This is my third attempt to do this video, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and I am wearing a headset to hopefully combat any audio problems we may have, may have been having, what have you. So, we'll see how this goes. There will probably be screaming in the background, unless it sounds like a massacre going on, please ignore it. Even if it sounds like a massacre, just ignore it, because I'll clean up later. <laughs> Um, so I was in a right foul mood yesterday and chose not to do a video for a vlog every Wednesday for Tam's vlogging group, just because I was in a really foul mood, so, and today I was going to do, I would like to say a studio update, but this is my studio. And, no, we still have a little about the fish tank. That's still driving me crazy. Yeah, I'm blaming the snails. So, I have, and I'm kind of looking around because I'm like, I know I have stuff. No, I guess I do. Um, a lot of these you will recognize as stuff from 29 Faces, the stickers that I have. Yes, I'm making sure that now. Because you can tell I'm organized. That's why this is probably the third video of the day. But actually, it's the third video of the day because of my interruptions. So you can probably see all these on my blog somewhere. These are backgrounds that I actually did last year. And for some reason, did nothing good. In fact, I think I lost them. I think that's what the problem was. I lost them. I put them somewhere safe so nobody would touch them. And then I found them earlier this year and went, oh, I didn't pay for these. So every Wednesday, I do um, Riding the Magic Mushroom, and now, I, when I thought of that concept, when that concept kept coming to me, it wanted so badly to be Riding the Magic Mushroom through Wonderland, that it never occurred to me that Riding the Magic Mushroom had other connotations. So, if you see it and you're going, oh my god, that girl's a freak, well, I am, but not like that. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually a very friendly, very open Wednesday prompt. I do it every Wednesday, and the writing the magic mushroom thing is a Wonderland thing. So every every Wednesday this year, I'm offering up a very open-ended prompt that has something to do with Wonderland or worlds created from Wonderland, like the Red Wars and all sorts of happy stuff. But for the past two weeks, I've not wanted to do squat and. I have a stack of sketches here, and not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before was Peppa, a pepper pig. And my goal for the whole writing the magic mushroom thing is to create a face with mushrooms every week, no matter what the prompt is. And I had originally thought, oh, you know, pepper pig, I'm just going to do the Duchess holding the baby pig. And I went, no, that's what everybody's going to do. I don't want to do that. So here's the pepper pig grown up as a teenager somewhere in there, but I sketched it last Wednesday. It's still waiting for me. This week's prompt is Um from Umbridge. I got the sketch, nothing else. And then of course today is St. Patrick's Day, and I was sitting there last night going, I have to do something for St. Patrick's Day. It's more the um, Dwapa de Dane. I know I pronounced that wrong, and I apologize. And this one's more of just an earth fairy. Which is funny, because when I talk to these two pieces, this one is the is more of the original fairy races, and this is something else entirely. But we won't go there. Because they're not done yet. They can switch, change, and mid everything. And I put a thin sketching here and there a little bit. And um, this is the back. This is Sumi Nagashi. If you've ever heard of Sumi Nagashi, it's basically floating paint on top of the water. And I originally got rice paper to do it with and found out that rice paper, Sumi Nagashi and I don't work well together, so I just did it on watercolor paper. And then I picked the side I thought was prettiest and threw on it. So I've got a lot of those and I did that last year. And I did it till all the paint was gone. But I made some of them really, really pretty. 
Alrighty. I think that might be why I hung on to some of those, but this one, this is an interesting piece if you can see the lines. I took pieces from other pages because I had cut them down. They were full size mixed media or maybe watercolor. And I cut them down to smaller pieces. Probably from these guys because I was trying to do this kind of. Yeah, it's just paper. Just mixed media and watercolor. And I probably used the scraps from these guys to do this. And I just glued them onto another on the back of another piece of paper. These books, and I think I'm pretty sure that most of these have been shown as the 29 secrets. That's where I am. But this week I did actually start something that I've been meaning to start for a while. So I shuffle back through this stuff so I don't have to use it. It's actually I finish it slowly, that's all right. At least I'm sketchy. I'm happy. So I did finally start a new series I've been talking about for a little while. Actually, the Rune series, which is interesting because here's the finished piece. This is the first one. This is not at all what I was anticipating doing because the whole point is it was supposed to be a mixed media piece using the Rune somewhere in it. And when I sat down to do this piece, I had the background. I've been working on it for a few days. I thought, okay, do I put a focal image in? Do I leave it abstract? Do I just glue the, the Rune on and work from there? And I went, First of all, I'm going to do this flower. It's kind of a lotus, kind of an abstract thing, which is something I like. And when I was done, I'm like, okay, I can do the room right here, maybe right over here, something, and that'll, that'll make it work. And I'm sitting there in the room told me, no, we need to the back. There it is. But this one's finished. And I started the second one. If you follow on Instagram, I have a tendency to up the initial stages of these pieces and their 6x6. Six six. And yes, for some reason, when I was going to do the room things, my original intention was to read about the rooms, make sure I knew the meaning, and do something based on the meaning of the room. I'm doing these flowers. <laughs> and I have a feeling I'm going to be doing 20, 24 of these flowers. And so, This one's still wet. It's got um, clear gesso on it, which is why it looks so horribly matte and gray. It's it's still in the process of drying from white gesso. I'm sorry, from clear gesso. This is white gesso. But it's clear gesso and it's drying. But as I was looking at this one, I'm like, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the runes on the back and glue them in there. And it, this is number two out of 24. And since the gesso is still, the clear gesso is still drying, you know, I'm still working on this one. How does that feel kind of And then I did something else tonight. It's the first time I've painted in a while. I mean, I've been sketching, I haven't really painted, so whatever bug has been sitting there going, hey, you don't really want to paint, do you? It's finally starting to lift. And this one, do you remember I, on Instagram, I showed some pictures of my oldest son, did a whole bunch of watercolor stuff and gave it to me. And this is one of his backgrounds, so this is a collaboration. And it was kind of interesting because I glued the papers down. It's just sketch paper, I guess, uh, that he painted on. I glued it down with gel medium, put a nice, good covering of gel medium on it. And if you look at her nose, see all those cracks down here in her nose? I didn't put the layers on too thick, but I put them on thick enough that I thought the paper was going to be sealed. As I'm sitting there with a paintbrush, very gently, I was actually using um, uh, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, and I was flicking in the color very gently with a paintbrush, and stuff started to come off. I'm like, and the more I tried to fix it, the more it came off. I'm like, okay. And see, she has a mole. That is an, a complete accident. I actually went to wipe something somewhere, and all of a sudden she's got a smear, and I'm like, oh, look, she's good to be the mark now. Bonk. There she is. But this is the first collaboration I've done with Nick. It's, just, it's dry. It's just mess. And there, there, I can hear my dogs chew in the background. It's awesome. And that, I'm in the process of letting things dry. I have a, a Thomas stuff, 
but I can film it, and that's how we're doing the stuff in the art journals. My two canvases. This is one of my reclaimed canvases. This is also a reclaimed canvas, but I did it in a completely different way. I don't remember which one that one. But this one was one of my listening girls that I kept looking at going, I really don't like you. I really don't like you. I have a picture of you, so I'm going to paint over you and start over. So, I did. And this one is awesome because I totally forget what was there before. But this, this under paper. I just glued a piece of deli paper down and it was, I had used the deli paper as my under paper. And I thought it was really, really pretty. So I glued it down. And now it's my background. And I know, my brain just went, oh, you have so many other things to say. And my brain's going, no, I really don't. So I'm good. That's my check in this week. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.